A Perth author has revealed the horrific past of one of WA's most famous buildings. Daniel Donnelly caught up with Jane Hall for a quick word. West Australians may be familiar with the Fremantle Arts Centre building, but perhaps not its dark history. I'm joined by Jane Hole, author of May They Rest in Peace. Jane, thanks for joining us. What can you tell us about the, the history of this iconic building? Well, it does have a dark and gloomy history. It was built in uh, 1861 to 65 by convicts from the Fremantle prison there. And they built it because very many of them were actually going insane because of the flogging, solitary confinement, the, the bad treatment generally. How terrible were conditions? Conditions were absolutely horrendous. These, these were people who had conditions like postnatal depression, uh, epilepsy, sunstroke, uh, some were rebellious teenagers, there were people who were socially isolated, they had nowhere to go, people who were alcoholics, and they were thrown in here, as I say, into this terribly overcrowded place with all these violent people amongst them. The building has its fair share of ghost stories. Can you share some with us? Um, yeah, there's plenty of ghost stories. Actually, um, the building has a, a reputation as being the most haunted building in the Southern Hemisphere. Probably the most famous ghost story would be The Lady in Black. This is a story that's been handed down from generations and it seems to be the ghost of a lady who was incarcerated here after her beautiful red-headed daughter was kidnapped and she was absolutely devastated. She spent all of her time wandering around the buildings, wandering around the grounds, searching desperately for her daughter. Jane, just finally, how important is it that West Australians know this horrific part of our history? We need to remember these people. They suffered and nobody cared. Nobody cared at the time. And I, I think that ghost stories actually remind us of what happened. And um, it's, it, they're important indicators of how people suffered. Well, thanks very much, Jane, for joining us for a quick word.